Okay, what I have here, guys, is an experiment. This is a innards to a Promark Shadow Drone GPS P70. And what I've done, you can see that there's these four bolts, well, screws actually, that you can take this case apart. The battery in it was bad. So, as you can see, I've tucked the battery out and then I've put the case back together. Now, online, on eBay, they have a conversion kit because the original battery is a lithium ion battery, which is different than a lithium polymer. The lithium ion battery takes about five to six hours to charge and you would only get 12 minutes of charge time. So everybody um, was converting over to lithium polymer uh, batteries. You can see this is a 7.4 volt which is what that drone takes and a 2500 milliamp hours which you can get up that to increase your flight time and the grade is 25C. Now, what I've never seen anybody try is this right here. You see that board right there is the charging board that came, uh, the charging control board is what I'll call it. It came out of the battery. It was on top, it's what the micro USB would plug into. And it had three wires. It had a negative, positive, and I would say um, the smart wire, which kind of tells you how much the battery is charged. So what I've done, you can see this is where you would normally charge uh, the um, battery, which I do have a battery charger that I bought off eBay that would, you know, plug right into this. See, it's right there. But what I've decided to do, I've never seen anyone do this test, is I had some extra wiring around without cutting into the battery. And what I have done, I've tied it on to that control board. So I've put the negative into, into the red, the or no, the ne excuse me, negative into the black, positive into the red. And then the green wire goes in the middle, which it's white on the battery, that's the information wire. And what it's telling me is, and, and then I plugged it into the charger, the micro USB charger, I plugged it right into the control board where it would go as if it was in the casing. And it's telling me that two of these cells are already charged and it's charging the third one. And then if the, my theory is correct, this battery came about half charged and it should take about an hour, a little less, for me to know if it's actually charging that battery or if this board is incompatible. But it should, since the voltage and everything is the same, it should be charging this battery. So basically what that means, instead of getting a conversion over to the 3D printed stuff, if a person was me um, mechanically inclined, you can just use your original housing your battery housing because see right there's where the control board went and right there's the control board you could actually hook put that battery inside this case and then just use it like that and uh, you could still charge it like that or you can just use it externally like there's no problem with the way they're doing it you know you use a battery charger like this and then you know you plug it into this external charger so either way will work but i never seen anyone try this method which if this method works you could actually use your original chassis the original housing to your original battery Okay, I hope you guys know what I'm saying.
and still be switched over to lithium polymer batteries. Anyways, I will let that charge and we'll um, do an update and see if it's actually charging and I'll let you guys know. Alright ladies and gentlemen, it has been about a half an hour and as you can see, three of those uh, LED lights are solid now and which means it's consistent with how fast the external battery charger would be charging this uh, lithium polymer lipo battery so if this works as I think it will then you could use the original casing um, you know you the, this battery will fit in that case and then there's two screws that screws the um, that controller the charger board back on and you'll be totally converted to uh, lithium polymer without having to buy the 3d model print kit there's only one um, if you want to keep an original look to your drone that is one plus about it and secondly there's an off and on switch I believe I'm not sure though that as soon as you hook these batteries up without that control board it just it's automatically on but if you can see down in there there's an off and on button and you could keep that function so tell me what you guys think I will be updating once the battery is completely charged okay it's indicating that the battery is charged and ready after about an hour and a half so I have to decide if I'm going to use it this new way and use the old chassis or if I'm just going to um, use it the converted way with the battery charger I think I'm going to use it the old way or I mean the way that everybody's using it on eBay but I just wanted to see if this would work and according to everything this battery has charged in about an hour and a half well if you guys have any questions or comments just leave it in the comment box below um, if you like it give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel I always need more subscribers tell me what you guys think I'll see you next video